embracing the new normal? That's the question. Hello everyone, this is me, Sula Saki, here to talk on the new normal. So, everyone is aware of the fact that COVID-19, the active cases of COVID-19 has been increasing day by day. There are already more than 22,000 active cases and more than 70 deaths here in Nepal. We need to act quickly in order to reduce the risk. We need to take the necessary steps in order to reduce the transmission of the virus. So the question is, how do we do it? How do we invest a new normal? How do we continue living our life this way? COVID-19 has already impacted greatly on all the aspect of human society. It has affected everyone, including myself. Now, rather than thinking about what should have been done, we should think about what can we do now in order to reduce the risk. Not being able to go to school, not being able to meet friends and families, it has been hard for everyone. But we are learning, we are learning to adapt. Now this is the time where we need to be selfless. The pandemic has already changed the world. There is no going back now. This is the time where we need to think about the new normal. The new normal of course can be a better normal, but it's it's not going to be easy, but it is possible. Small changes, small changes can make a big difference. Only if we continue to keep up our personal hygiene practices such as washing hands for more than 20 seconds or maybe using sanitizer from time to time. It can reduce the risk. Just applying the social distancing measures consistently can reduce the transmission of the virus. Staying home is the best help we're doing from each other. We need to support each other to protect ourselves. We need to go through all this together to protect ourselves. It has been hard for everyone, but we need to look forward and we need to keep going. And in the end, we will survive and we will thrive. And like everything else in life, it just too self us. Thank you.